back to my channel my name is Athena this is Fat Life Unfiltered um, as you can tell a little bit brighter a little bit cheerier in mood today <laughs> um, yeah this is the crazy roller coaster of hormones that I have been talking about lately this is PCS at its finest if you had seen my video the other day you might want to check that one out but basically in a nutshell it just kind of talked about how I kind of derailed and made poor choices a few days ago and how my emotions just kind of got the best of me. I think I had a Kim K cry moment. Let some things get to me. Um, there were some things, other personal things going on, but yeah, feeling a little bit better today though. Um, today is my weigh in and I didn't want to go back through all my numbers. <laughs> I'm kind of being lazy today. But my last weigh in, I believe I was at 305.8. Now, because I made bad, crappy, shitty decisions the other day. I really did not want to do this weigh in, but because I am a big girl and we have to own up to things that we do, and I pretty much knew what my weigh in was going to be, um, I jumped on the scale this morning. Surprisingly, though, yeah. uh? Uh, I'm doing my weigh in video. Oh. The hubby. I will show you my results, but I got to kind of cover it because I didn't realize that when I do my weigh ins, your girl's kind of in the buck and my um, scale likes to show my reflection so yeah <laughs> um, but today I was at 305.4 so hopefully you can see that and hopefully you don't see too much of me in it but that means I went down like what 0.4 pounds so there was not a gain after all but I think it was Tuesday and Wednesday were my crappy eating days and then Thursday and Friday I kind of got my stuff together, started exercising again. I really thought I dumb busted my week. Um, I did lose on my diet bet though. I wanted to show you guys something because this is the crazy thing. So my weigh in previous to my last videos like before you know new year or after new year's or whatever I think I was at like I can't remember I think I had gone up like a pound or something like that I think it was like 306 I can't remember I think I had gone up to like 306 or something like that but when I d weighed in for my diet bet that morning well, when I weighed in for my diet bet I was at 306.4 so I don't know if you guys can see that 306.4 now, I didn't realize I had to take a second photo from like head to toe, so I was trying to wait for my husband to wake up, so there's a word that we have to put on the scale, and it ended up changing because I waited like a few hours later, so I had to re-weigh myself. So when I re-weighed myself later that day, I went up to 307.8. And this was just like the Saturday after my weigh-in. So my diet bet, I weighed in at 307.8. So technically for my diet bet, when I weighed in today, it was an unofficial weigh-in, I actually went down 2.4 pounds. So even though I had a crappy week and motions got the best of me, um, I still did good on my diet bet. Now for my weigh-in here on YouTube, I only went down like 0.4 pounds. Um, not too great, but not bad considering what happened. Um, the thing I'm kind of feeling this week though is I don't like that I seem to still kind of use my PCOS as an excuse. I really do have issues. I am going to the doctor on Tuesday, but I don't like that it feels like it's still kind of a fallback because once a month I still I know I'm going to have this issue. There really is something going on with my hormones though. They are going out of whack. This does happen when I tend to lose weight. For some reason, the potency of my birth control isn't as a, isn't as effective, and I do have to have it adjusted. But with me knowing this, I still have to be able to kind of get things under control, and that's the part that I kind of don't know where to go or what to do with this. Um, so when I go see my doctor on Tuesday, there's some things that I need to discuss because if my birth control is not going to be working for me, um, there are some things mentally that and emotionally I still need to work on and deal with because no amount of pills that these doctors give me is going to take everything away 100% so I need to do my part and start figuring out what I can do better to get a grip on things because when that day happened and I had found out about my friend prior to that the week prior 
I was already getting symptoms and was already telling my husband that I knew something was going on and my hormones were off. I was complaining about my birth control. I, I, I knew. I knew the signs. But I was kind of just allowing myself to kind of feel those feelings and just go, well, you know what? I'm going to give into my hormones a little bit. So when I had gotten some bad news and my emotions were running high, everything just kind of collided at once. And unfortunately, it just led to bad, decis to bad decisions and old habits. And I do have the tendency to do this. The reason why I'm talking about this is because, you know, to a certain degree, I'm still at fault for this. And I'm going to acknowledge that, and I'm going to keep acknowledging that, because if I don't acknowledge that, then it's just a form of me pushing it under the rug and still kind of putting it to the side and, and letting my medical conditions just kind of, you know, take the fall for things. But I'm still in control of what goes into my mouth. Um, so I will also be looking into some supplements because I do know that having PCOS and having certain hunger um, cravings or having certain carbohydrate cravings, I know so also sometimes I've heard magnesium helps. Um, I don't like taking 20 million supplements. Sometimes I feel like I'm over medicating myself. I don't care how natural it is. It just seems like a lot, but I will kind of be looking into some things because you know, it doesn't help or couldn't hurt. Um, today, though, I was really craving some chocolate. I opted to eat a full orange. Usually, I only have half an orange or half a fruit. Um, I opted to eat the whole damn thing. That versus a piece of chocolate. But if I'm still craving chocolate tomorrow, I'm going to go get a freaking piece of chocolate and I'm going to allow myself to do that. Um, and the other issue I'm having is lately I haven't had any. I don't like calling them cheat meals, but like a cheat meal or cheat day, or you know, or if I'm really actually having a, an actual craving, I haven't been doing any of that. So I kind of need to figure out if I'm, you know, allowing myself something or fitting in somewhere during the week, you know, a snack, a sweet that I want, or you know, something that's a little off track. Um, around these times. The times that I'm not <laughs> um, having issues with my birth control around my time of the month, um, I'm fine. I'm, I'm like perfectly fine. It's just when PMS hits, birth control goes out of whack, hormones go out of whack, things happen that I feel like that. So I'm going to kind of try to make myself like a little kit <laughs> to have for future reference and I'm thinking that'll kind of help me out a little bit. But. And then also too, um, on Instagram I had come across someone that follows me. There's an account, it's called Protein Bites. And they're a business that is out of Miami, Florida. And so I ordered something from them. And I'm hoping to do a review on them. So hopefully I will get that in about a week. And it is basically, they have protein brownies and cookies. And the only reason why I ordered from them was for the simple fact that I've seen their products. And they look really good. <laughs> um, but because sometimes with the protein shakes, it's not... It's harder for me to take to work and to try to do the water and the protein powder and shake it out where I'm just, I, it's easier for me to open something up at my desk and to eat it, but I want a little bit of an alternative. So I want to do a review on those and see if it's a product that I like or anything like that because I do see certain things on Instagram sometimes and I'm like, I always want to try it, but I never know if it's actually worth it the money so i want to get that going for you guys um i'm going to end things there if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button it's appreciated you don't have to it just helps me out subscribe if you can and like always comment down below and until next time thanks for watching